It's Apollo 13 technical debriefing. Tape is classified confidential. This is tape number six, beginning with section 21, medical kits. All right. Yep. Medical kits. Medical kit kits were adequate. We used uh, aspirin. And some. Uh, I I used two Lomatil and one Dexedrine. I used Dexedrine and uh, and also uh, and. Uh, we used, an, we used uh, quite a bit of aspirin and uh, uh, one Darmon, right? They used a Loma two Loma two? It didn't do any good, did it? <laughs> They're back to the creek. <laughs> Are you sure you got in the right compartment? <clears throat> I think so. And uh, who you, somebody used, uh, were you seasickness pills? No. Yes. Oh, I, you did? I took a Marazine. Yeah. You took one. I gave you one. No, I didn't take it. Okay, and how about the, uh, what did you suggest? Dexedrine. 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 I took one of those. I just took one. I didn't take any. You didn't take any? Sea sickness has that in it. Yes. Some of it. You know. I was a little scared about taking too much Dexedrine. I was afraid that if I wore off before I got down, I'd Well, that's well, the reason I only hit you the second time, because I yeah. uh, figured if you took one in that first time period, uh, yeah. it would begin to wear off, yeah. and you ought to hit another one. Yeah. Yeah. I had mine in my upper pocket, and I gave it to Keith Baird after landing. I had it there in case I felt I needed it, but I yeah. the closer in we got, the wider awake I got. Okay. <coughs> Housekeeping. Hey, we kept up with uh, all the debris. We uh, never had any loose packages around. After every meal, we immediately used the pills and the, and the uh, debris went in the garbage bag and uh, why not, okay Anything else? yeah this was even after the incident even after the incident we had always had a clean yeah. house you had to there were never any odors never any uh, mold or anything <laughs> any food odors Fred why don't you talk about shaving then well, I think uh, off the record, I guess we already talked. I, I problem uh, was one of two things, I guess. Uh, Deke's point that it has been done before and uh, quite successfully uh, probably leads me to believe that uh, our, our selection of the type of cream, the menin, was not the right one. Uh, what it, uh, it what happened with all of us was the. Uh, the shaving cream kind of caked underneath the razor blade on the Tecmatic we had, and it just uh, allowed the blade to skim now very neatly over the whole rest of the face without even touching a whisker. And you really had to apply a lot of pressure and a lot of scraping back and forth to uh, to get it to uh, dig in a little bit under there and uh, do any cut. And it was a very uh, long-term, meticulous job to get even a, a halfway decent shave with that uh, apparatus. And I guess uh, the next guys are to follow either more in line with what is, had been used previously, which uh, we didn't, I didn't have any knowledge of, or make use of the more selected sampling of the large uh, selection of uh, creams that are available. We really only looked at two, Gillette and Menon, uh, both of which are uh, pretty big commercial outfits. How much did we say until Apollo 13 crew? Hi. 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 I figure that uh, if any of them ought to be good, those ought to, but I guess that wasn't necessarily uh, true for the environment we were in. Uh, another uh, possibility that we thought of before going uh, was to uh, have the benefit of having a, uh, a razor that you either remove the head on or uh, can remove the razor on that allows you to better get at the blade itself to clean it. And uh, of course with the Tecmatic we weren't able to do that either. Anybody have anything else to add? Radiation dosimetry. We uh, sort of goofed here a little bit. When we took off our suits, Fred and I left our dosimeters in our suit pockets. And uh, we already had them stowed, and because we wanted to be very careful about those suits, we were reluctant to unstow them, so we relied back on Jack's dosimeter as an overall dosimeter for the 
for the flight up to the accident. And after the accident, we didn't bother taking it to give somebody to read. But, uh, well, I did give it to the to the my little seminar got it out of the pouch. He they asked for it on landing. They couldn't find it. Oh. And I had to give it to him. It was stowed underneath the LEV. Uh, in the one of those little pouches down underneath yeah. the optics. But I didn't see it go up much, so. And the PRDs were not worn for the entire mission. Two of them were stowed in the uh, suit bag, and one was stowed uh, down by the LEV. Radiation survey meter. We didn't use it. We activated it one time, and we couldn't find your dosimeter to see if there's any change. <coughs> and uh, we didn't see anything in excess of uh, this 10 millirad per hour. And it was outside the radiation belt. Yeah. Personal hygiene. You know, I guess there's one thing that I've always thought was too small, and that is the wet wipes, whether it's packaged with the food or whether it's packaged in the... Uh, yeah. uh, they're so doggone small, and uh, I much prefer the stuff that's packaged in the. Uh, you ever see these things that the Air Force has? So when you get a in-flight lunch kit, you get these one of these things you wipe on. At least they smell good. These things that we've had since Jimmy days. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of what they put on them, but boy, they they're awful, and they're small. But I guess that's something we can live with, and there's nothing, you know. Yeah, no reason why we should get through those. Huh? Yeah, but I mean, you know, if we're looking towards. Uh, Skylab and long duration flights and you know more comfort for the crew as we can improve the personal hygiene. I don't know why they can't be the same as they use on the airlines. That's right. Mm -hmm. the smell of Chanel number 19 or whatever it is. Potable water use for personal hygiene? Sure. Well, we used it to keep our faces clean and uh, <coughs> for shaving. We used the hot water to try to soften the beards. As far as tissues go, that was one they'd skip there. There were plenty of tissues. Yep. Yeah, we never ran out of tissue. Uh, medical requirements, clean, post flight, physical. Uh, it seems to me that the. Now I don't know, Deke, you probably have a better handle on this than I do, but uh, it seemed to me that that the physical was different than it was on eight for this particular flight, and. Uh, uh, we had we had this. We had a physical every day, which is something which came as a complete surprise to me. I don't know, I must have missed the brief in someplace along the line. We've been doing that since uh, 9 in terms of a quick look each morning just to kind of nose throat check okay. just to make sure nobody's getting a red throat or something. Because prior to that point we weren't, you remember, we all of a sudden we came along yeah. here and had a problem. So now, since from T minus 5 on down we haven't been doing that. I guess I, I didn't personally tell you about it, and I was in error there. Uh, well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know about it until all of a sudden uh, Jack Teagan said, "You know, where do you want to set the physical?" And I said, "What yeah. physical?" He said, "We have to look at you every day." So. Yeah. Now, the only other thing I thought of, and uh, you might want to consider this thing, I don't know, uh, the backup crew and the prime crew never follow the same physical. That's right. Uh, regiment. T minus thirty on down. On down. Uh, if you're going to repeat what we repeated here, instead of getting Jack all of a sudden. Ginned up, you might you might think about changing that, that technique. But that's entirely what you all want to do. Okay, there again, I think it uh, worked out all right. Sure, just T minus five is what you really need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. PAO requirements, uh, they weren't <coughs> interfering. That's the only thing I can say. <coughs> okay, that's it. That's good.